So today I'm going to show you how easily your Gmail account integrates with your Gmail calendar. And the easiest way to do that is to show you so. With this email right here, it's a boot camp agenda. And I'm going to open up the email and you will notice that there are three dots up here. And the three dots mean that there's more that you can do. More than what these icons up here offer. So I'm going to click on more and you'll notice that if you wanted to you could add a ta add this to task but what I want to do is I want to go down and create an event. So I'm going to create an event and I'm going to have this event because I know this particular event is happening on the 25th and I know that this particular event it's going to start at 8 o'clock in the morning, and I know it's going to go till 11 o'clock. I know that it's going to be at Mayock Elementary School, and when I start typing that, automatically the location comes up. I'm going to have a notification. I'm going to have an email notification. Three days before because I want to get a reminder that three days. I'm going to also add a notification that I get a um, one hour before I want it to pop up on my um, on my telephone. I'm going to color code this because it's professional development and I like to perfect I like to make all of my tomato red but you could color it anything. Okay so I have the title, I have the time and the date, I have where it's going to be, I know that I'm going to get a, uh, an email about it, I could get it weeks in advance, whatever, I'm going to have it pop up, a text message will pop up on my phone and on my, ca on my computer, but over here is some of the important part, because over here, this shows you who you can notify to attend this or if you are working on it together it'll put it on their calendar so I'm going to put in Lisa Rose right here and then when I save it Lisa is actually going to get an email and she will it will say are you going to this boot camp no, I'm not, or maybe, but she'll be able to put it on her calendar. Once it's on her calendar, then she can have notifications also. And that's the way you add an email um, to your calendar. But I'm going to go back over here, and now that my calendar's open, I'm going to look at the week and the month. And I want to see this month. And I see that I have created the boot camp here. Now, um, if I decide later that I want to delete this, all you have to do is click on it and click delete. If you realize you've made a pro, um, you need to make a change, you just edit it. And um, then you can also assign it to your task and it will pop up. It will actually send you an email if it's been added to your task also. So um, let's take a look at. Um, this one. Um, this is the one, the one I just did. Click edit. Yeah. Click edit. I've got, um, if I needed to change this, let me show you what will happen. So if I change my time to nine o'clock, it'll automatically change it based on the time you had before. I can always change this. Now, when I save it, it's going to ask me if I want to update the email so that they'll get an email about it. So I'm going to say in this case, don't send. So, and that is the way you add an email to your calendar automatically.